Hey guys, how's it going? This is Adam for FXD79.com, uh, back with another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. Uh, if you don't have Sony Vegas, you can pick it up for pretty cheap nowadays. Uh, you don't even need the Pro version or the 10.0 version. Uh, it's a very nice uh, editor that you can do just about anything you want in. It doesn't specialize in any one thing. So uh, make sure if you're interested, you pick this up. Um, what we're going to be doing today is uh, color correcting our clip to make it look more cinematic and giving it that kind of uh, cinema feel. And uh, I'll be teaching you how to do that. So, we're going to be using this crappy clip that I was using in the After Effects tutorial. Uh, it is uh, shot off of a very poor quality camera. However, with some color correction we can make it look better. So, we'll go ahead and click the Event Effects button, which is right here. And of course, wait for that to load. Uh, and then we'll select color corrector, color balance, uh, color curves. We'll just go crazy here. We'll select everything. Um, you can do a little bit of glow. I don't usually use that, um, but uh, you can use it if you want. Sometimes on some particular clips, sharpen comes in handy, but it's usually over effective and doesn't really help you all that much. So. For the first clip, it's kind of green, so we're going to be going for the outdoorsy look. So we'll just change the low to pretty, just right about there. Medium to around the same. And light, we'll just change it to like right there, or height, I mean. We'll change it to like there. So now, all you, as you can see, we already have a different color. You can kind of see it. We turn it off and on, so that gives it kind of a glowy and more greenish look. You can change how much you want it to uh, be saturated with this slider. So to say we want to make the grass just look like Windows XP background grass, you can you know, change it there. And of course, that's not realistic. But in some particular scenes, that could be good. For instance, in a dream scene, I've seen those before. These kind of colors are used. So uh, sometimes that can be helpful. You can also use uh, color balance to change these around a little bit. Oh, OK. Thanks for that. Um, and then. So you can kind of change how much you want the RGB, just the basic RGB colors to be uh, distributed. Um, we can go to color curves. This is where you really do most of your uh, contrast and kind of stuff like that. Uh, make sure you change the preset to reset to none. They are already have a lot of uh, presets in there, which we'll take a look at. But uh, for now, we'll do reset for none. And you're going to dra uh, drag the bottom one lower and the top one higher. Not as high, though. So if we turn off the color corrector for now, we'll be able to look th make this look a little bit more cinematic. We'll go back to here, turn it on, and just kind of get rid of a lot of that because it's completely unnecessary in this case. So there we go. Now we have kind of a more darkish scene. Uh, brings out the colors a lot. Um, handy tip, whenever you're editing uh, game footage of like video games, this is very helpful. If you increase the um, color curves, if you do this kind of uh, thing with it, it makes it look really, really nice. So, uh, just handy little tip there. Now, glow is if you bring it up, if you bring, you have to bring the intensity up first. But if you bring the glow, it kind of does that kind of thing. So I don't know if you can see that very well in the video, but basically it just blurs it a little bit and adds that kind of glowish. So it can be used, uh, especially in like dream scenes, as I mentioned before. But it's very handy because you can change the color of the glow. So if you wanted something to glow a certain color, you could do it this way. If you did it too much, it just looks ridiculous. But um, it's there, and it's helpful at some points. But you want to make sure you don't overdo something like that, because a lot of times it's not very necessary. So there, for instance, we have like the grass kind of glowing a little bit, and the, uh, the light coming through the trees there. And then sharpen this if you bring it up right there. That makes kind of a comic book effect. But if you use it at very minimum, it can be helpful. And very minimum ends up being like here, like around there. So there we've already created more of like a contrasty uh, cinema clip. So I'll bring this forward a little. Okay, that's too much there. Just sharpen. Bring it like there even. Um, change the color suppression down. And don't even want that. So it's really your job to kind of play around with these things and uh, 
for your specific clip, find out how they'll affect it and if you want that. Uh, another thing I pointed out in the After Effects tutorial is um, each clip is going to have its different kind of feel in your movie, each set of clips. So you want to make sure based on uh, what kind of film you're shooting, what kind of mood you want to have, you pick the appropriate um, clip, the appropriate uh, you know color correction to match that. If you wanted to have more of like a let's get rid of this and we can do a, kind of like a blue thing here All right, then we'll change the color balance back alright so now we have more of like a bluish scene and you can change that so it's more blue but that's kind of used for more sad scenes so if you wanted to have a sadder scene you could use a blue color just to kind of um, if you've ever gone to a movie, you'll probably see that kind of thing being used in a movie. They're never uh, light, sad scenes. It's always dark. The color curves are very uh, just crunched. So that can be used for that. Also in horror movies, they'll often bring down the uh, contrast, or bring up the contrast, sorry, so that uh, it just creates that more of uh, an eerie effect. If we can go through, you probably saw the... Uh, uh, the uh, presets here so this, these can be very very helpful um, so that's kind of more of a well warm colors you know we can go through here just experiment around um, reduce contrast increase contrast that's a very high contrast right there that probably wouldn't be helpful in this scene but maybe in other things bright and brights so there's all these pre-made uh, things that you can use for different there's a night preset so there you go you know RGB is dropped um, and that can be used for shooting at day or and changing at night infrared that's pretty cool for people who are just experimenting around they can make uh, like a predator movie or something like that so you've got all these different presets that you can use uh, that are at your disposal for your movies so if you're looking to create something that's more than just the home video you want to make sure you definitely check into color correction and follow some of these tips to make your movie a, a lot more professional so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video peace